The conditions have been right for fossil hunting and we've managed to come across lots of ammonite nodules lately. I'll explain more about the video in just a moment, then we'll get straight into it. In this video, me and Shay are going to be opening up several ammonite nodules. Not every nodule is going to contain an ammonite. Some will and some won't. As we're going through, see if you can work out which one will contain a fossil and which one will be completely empty. Some of the fossils might even break the wrong way, but hopefully we get lots of nice fossils inside. Let's get on with the video and start opening up the first rock. At the end of the video, I'll let you know how you can get your hands on some ammonites yourself to open up at home if you'd like to. This really helps support our channel and helps support Shea because he does this full time. Thanks in advance for supporting the page. Let's get on with the video. This is the type of ammonite that we'll be hoping to reveal when opening our nodules in this video. You can see Shea having a look around for some nodules. We've already got a few put to one side to crack open and we're ready to crack them open now. This fossil hunt was after a storm, came across a lot of nodules. You never know which ones are going to contain fossils or which are going to be empty in this case. Sometimes you can see the ammonite around the edge of the nodule and you definitely know one is inside. On this occasion, the nodule was completely empty. Hopefully we'll have some better luck with this much bigger nodule. It's significantly larger, as you can tell. It's a lot heavier as well. And the outer coating of the nodule is iron pyrite. This means it's difficult to break open, more difficult than normal. And also, you really need to make sure you're wearing safety glasses with any nodule, especially like this. Bits of iron pyrite shards can fly off in all directions. This nodule is proving to be extra difficult to open, which usually suggests there's nothing inside, or no fossils at least anyway, but we'll persist and open it. There we go, opened up and it's completely empty. Some calcite, but no fossils. Let's hope that this nodule is gonna contain one of the ammonites that we're looking for. Well, that's a nice start. It does have a lovely little ammonite in it although it's not the incredible specimen that we're looking for. Let's see fourth time lucky if this is going to be the one. Got to be careful of your fingers when you're trying to open up nodules this small. Pretty nice pyritic ammonite inside. Definitely getting closer and closer to the awesome ammonite that we're searching for today. After this nodule, we've got a very large Hildoceros ammonite to open. It's going to be exciting opening that one. This ammonite has actually opened really, really strangely. Both sides of the nodule fell away from the ammonite and revealed it. Pretty unusual, it was quite nice to see. This nodule is by far the most exciting, in my opinion. You can see the large outer whorl of about a six inch or so Hildoceros ammonite. 
again you can see the golden appearance within the limestone this is the iron pyrite which makes it quite a challenge to reveal the fossil hopefully she can manage it Getting closer and closer to revealing it. I wasn't expecting it to be that nice. Should I try and get the rest? Let's see. Maybe we can expose the rest at home. Last but not least, we have this multi-block of ammonites to open up. There's several inside. Quite a few of them are worn. And these are rarer species than the previous nodules that we've opened up. These are Gromoceros ammonites. And you can see there, we've already revealed two Gromoceros. On this remaining piece of nodule, that just had the imprints of the two we've revealed. But there's still plenty more complete specimens inside. And Shea's going to try and reveal one of them now. quite tough rock not the easiest to open up he's managed to partially reveal a little one but it was no good and there we go size, size one. the largest yeah. out of the three well, Stunning condition, Gromoceros, and even some other partial specimens behind it. Once this is all prepared up, it's going to look really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Quite a few ammonites there. Quite a nice variety of species as well, and all different sizes of ammonites. Let me know if you like this type of video, and we can certainly consider making some more. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will. However, these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. To finish off the video, I've got some clips of the sea from one of our recent fossil hunts. Hope you enjoy watching this clip. Let me know if you'd like to see more footage like this and I can include it in future videos. We'll see you in the next one.